Hey everybody, and yeah, welcome back to Bell's Dark Galactic Deadlock Rival here. The Ghost Fleet Offensive is moving forward. Anyway, uh, so we're going to be using uh, Blackwood Fleet and Steel Rain Fleet, I think. I think Steel Rain is going to deal with this one. It's a close range gunship, so you'll be able to deal with it. And Blackwood's going to do that one because it's uh, electronic jamming and stuff. So, ish. It's very ish. Um, right. So, Steel Rain. Let's have a look at the fleet. Gunship, gunship. And we've got the Ranger. So, we're going to put you onto debris mines because we like debris mines for dealing with fighters. Mm, you have torpedoes. Everything else should be good. Blackwood. You've got the Jupiter. You've got Minerva, Artemis, Minotaur. Yeah, that should be good. All right. All right. So, uh, Steel Rain. Jump to deal with that one. And. Blackwood jump to deal with that one. This, this one is as simple as it gets, still waiting for it. Info, so probably get that in the next one. And Operation Clean Sweep will be next video. We're, we're going to do these two. Bring this down before it goes too mental. Let's do it. All right. Still rain. Let's do this. Gunships. So we should be able to focus our gunfire pretty effectively um i'm gonna try and get all six of our main battle line firing at one target to begin with uh although that may be a little bit more hard than i thought okay where are you you are way below us okay Am I missing? I am. I'm missing a Minotaur. That Minotaur I sold, I think I needed it. But, hey, whatever. We will deal. It's not ideal, but we will deal. Uh, I'm going to put you right up top. Because we want to destroy any fighters that come in. All right, so that Minotaur that I sold a couple of videos back, we needed that. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, I didn't see it one. on the base view of the, the fleet. Otherwise, I'd have paid the full price and rushed it through. Such is life. Latest contacts. Cylon fleet is present. All right, we're going to stay in... Uh... Best maneuvering. Yes, Commander. Like standard setup. Um, but before we do that, because we are going to need to make sure that we take care of any squadrons that come through. They're going to launch some, you know they are. So get the point defenses onto targeting squadrons first. Okay. In turn, let's see what happens. Get every gun ready and bearing on the hostiles. Set condition one throughout the ship. Yes, Commander. I'm not launching any fighters, which just feels weird. I just want to point that out to everyone. It feels so weird. Weapons free, prepare for engagement. Okay, they are now launching fighters. Launching mines. Launching mines. That's terrible placement.
mean, that's not great, but it's a hell of a lot better. In fact, I don't think I want to drop you guys at all, do I? Yes, Commander. I think I want to bring you off a bit. the Heracles. Uh, everybody go aggressive. Target is 6-2 by 9-9. Nine nine. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Launching mines. Mm. Got it. Might be better because they're going to have to come up and over. Uh, you seem to be coming in low, so that's fine. You're going into the flat field. Firing solution is online. Target acquisition. Missiles incoming. Give me back on control now. Right, I think we're good to start replacing with torpedoes now. Get him, get him, get him! Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. We're taking fire! Ranger is taking damage. Salvo launch ready. Launching drones. Supply rafters are ready. Everyone's throwing at that. Ranger is taking damage. We're going to hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Sustained incoming. Vector 2 3. Celestra is taking damage. So Lester is taking damage. Got it. Oh, he's shooting over the top. Okay. Yes, sir. Got it. Uh, yeah, take that out. It's going to be another Revenant. They're giving us Ranger is taking damage. We best do work. Salvo launch ready. And they completely missed. And we're going to 
turn you that way. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. I'm guessing another Talon. I'm guessing. I can't be sure. Soon find out. Yeah, no time. Okay. Still rain. Cylon units are dark. They didn't know what hit them. Did the job. Ranger took a bit of a beating, but nah. And we're missing a parent with a not parent. Vital. Because somebody. Sold the monitor we were going to be using. All right, Blackwood Fleet. Let's do this. This might be another quick video, guys. I'm trying to keep it to two fights because sometimes the one fight kind of leads over to the big. But I'm trying to keep it to two fights. But it means that the videos sometimes are sh shorter. It all depends on what we face and how well I deal with it. <laughs> Which sometimes I deal with it really, really well. Um, interesting. Put you there. We'll move. We'll do this on the the echelon, I think. It does the job. Put you close to that fleet so you can be protected by it. Um, I'm not going to put you all the way in the other corner because I don't really think it's going to be necessary. They are a lot electronic warfare, which means nukes might not be the best idea. Which is why I'm going to load up. <laughs> Proceed. May as well. I mean, come on. Why not? Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Dratus contacts. Cylon fleet is present. All right, we're definitely going to have to drop. I'm on it, Commander. Um, and you are going to have to slow down. With you accelerating. Got it. So we've got this protection for the Celestra. Um, you know what? I'm going to have you do not drop. Everybody launch Launching what you raptors. got, though, because we're going to need them. I need to know what's in this fleet. There's going to be Phobos. They have the ability to launch fighters, so. But I want to get some to targeting data. Notice how the Taipans come out of the, the back of the low, um, the pylons. The, uh, the hangar pylons. Because... They're not designed to go through the launch tubes like the Vipers are. It's a nice little, it's a little thing. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it. I promise you, it'll be like, oh yeah, they Earth do. Squadron target. Hey, what? Go. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. It's the Raptor that's going to get us the targeting data. That is five squadrons. One, two, confirmed squadron, three, confirmed. 
confirmed squadron target. Four. What do we want on four? I'm going to have four help with one. Soon we can get that unit taken care of. The quicker we can have our own units come in and do their thing. Black. Need to protect until we're ready to fire off those nukes. Keep that black wall up. Squadron is taking fire. We have a Saris. We have another Saris. And they're launching war drivers. Confirmed squadron target. Confirmed squadron target. Which means I really don't want to fire. Off my uh, my nukes yet at all. Really, really, really don't. Because they will scramble it. Although I could. Yes, we will. Cancel flak. Cancel flak. I'm going to cancel all the flak, to be honest with you. Uh. I'm on it, Commander. So say we all. Is anyone attacking that? Yes, sir. To finish that off, I need that. I'm on it, Commander. Fire that nuke. Missiles incoming. Mm, we took a hit. They hit in the bottom. Yeah. Launching drones. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we're going to take that. Break, break, break. Bogey in my tow truck. Switching gun to manual. Minerva is taking damage. Yeah. Shh. That was the war driver. It managed to flip it around. System repairs underway. All right, I want you three to turn because otherwise you're going to run to the back of Minerva. Um, and black, black, if I try and manu maneuver the Minerva now, it has no navigation, so it can't, which means I'm going to have to have 
the Jupiter stayed with it. And that nuke's going to have to be taken out. Missiles incoming. Minerva is taking damage. They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. Keep in through work. Confirmed squadron target. That might actually die. Actually, it probably will. Minerva's lost all of its under armor. But it can turn away, so we're going to turn it. Got it. So say we all. Hopefully, flat cloud of the uh, retreat 160 tiling three rounds well we're going to get it out of here if we can hostile mine detected missiles incoming I don't care where we go. Jump up now. Alrighty then. I want all my Taipans to go after that. I want you to start falling down behind it. I want you guys to slip in behind as well. So say we all. You go defensive. Got it. Not getting a lot of maneuver, but we're getting some. We're now going full defensive, so we can actually start doing that. Uh, everybody, focus on that. This didn't go according to plan at all. They just had the. I need flak reload now. IFFs have come back hostile. <sighs> uh, they're trying to sneak underneath. think we should be okay. So say we all. I think. Launching drones. Get rid of that long range one before it causes us too much problem. The battle star is taking damage. Oh yeah, that and jumped away. Ooh. All Cylon units are dark. They didn't know what hit them. Yeah, and they almost didn't know that we lost them a nerve or either. Yeah, so the Minerva's not there because it wasn't part of the battle at the end. You only get the battleships that finish the, the battle in the battle space. Which basically means now I have to figure out how bad the fleet is. And Blackwood Fleet, you actually dealt with that quite well if it wasn't for this. This is the problem in the Minerva. It's got a lot of firepower, but it needs to be defended. And I don't feel like a Battlestar should need to be defended. You know what I'm saying? 
14 tiny for that, 11 for that, 1, 10, 8, 46 for the hull, 87. Most of this is that maneuver. Mm. Steel rain. Do that. Give me a minor tool. I'm going to just pay the full price for that. Transfer to steel rain. So that's all seven slots filled. And you've still got points left over. You could get a, a manticore in there, which would be absolutely golden for this fleet. Because then you've got a scout craft. And if you've got someone with uh, the Dreyas range, you could put them as that is their flagship. Um, Minerva is not Minerva. Manticore has got the biggest Dreyas range of all the colonial ships. So biggest Dreyas range plus 40%. It's huge. Um, and it would be very, very useful. But you can't have more than seven ships. So, of course, you're not allowed to do that. Um, Blackwood's looking good. This one. Okay, build ships. I said we'd have one of each. Transfer you to... There. That means we can't do it. We can't have one of each battle star. I want to, but we can't do it. Because we only have 1,500 points left. 8,000 fleet. So we only have 1,500. And a... And Artemis is eight, uh, 1550, so we're 50 points short. Mm. We're 15 points short. I mean, we could. And it's just me saying we could. I'm not saying we will. I'm saying we could. Could do Jupiter 1's Minerva and Artemis. Or two Jupiter 1's... Two Minervas? We'll likely lose the Minervas, but it does give us extra firepower. Those extra missile slots. Two assault raptors. Hang on, I just had another thought. No, I wouldn't be able to do that either. Two Jupiter twos and two Minervas is not enough, not enough points. Not enough points to even put uh, two Artemises in with that. So two Jupiter ones and two Minervas. That's got some kick. That was a lot of kick. Eight Typhoon Squadrons, two Assault Raptors, six Missile Slots. That's a scary amount of firepower. I might have to do that. Of course, I'd still like to get my officer that I really, really want. Okay, we've got a Marine Officer, two Techs, Three techs. I'm starting to think this <laughs> this game doesn't like me. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll do this one because it's only 50. Give me a freaking fleet officer that is actually useful. This is so annoying. Ugh. Uh, what you got there? simple as it gets, Commander. Ministry wants these Eight thousand base out. commands. Local colony scouts have picked up a distress beacon from a stranded fuel freighter. There's no sign of its escort or the ships they were. Yep. Shut up, Sing. We're done with you. All right. So next time we are going to do this rowing battle and then Operation Clean Sweep. Mm, because 
think that's probably the best way to keep things moving along. And I do need more officers. I need more RP. And this will keep the threat level fairly low. I think. <laughs> Tithium's not an issue right now. RP kind of is, but not massively. And I'm going to do that. I am going to trade this for 400 rec points. I'm trading at Jupiter 2. Jeez, what am I doing? Um, we'll put you on Taipans. Torpedo. Nuke. Rush that. Rush that. Transfer you to there. Transfer you to there. Can't need another. Need to get out to. It will fit. It will actually fit. That's nuts. Promote 1500. Flagship damage reduction will take it. Um, it's 2000, so I need to get that up to 2000 and then I can get that full. And that'll be that fleet ready to go. Call the flagship arrival because I can do that. Call this the Moogle. Because while I'm sitting here recording, Red Moogle's sitting just over there doing, um, well, she's making shorts for you two. Uh, we'll call this one Wolven. Because Wolven's playing a lot of Outpost with me right now, and it's kind of fun. And. <laughs> We'll call this one the hammer because this is how me and Hamel met uh, with Battlestar Galactica. We started watching the videos and that's how the, the channel started growing. It was great. Okay, so that's where we're going to call it for today. Uh, we'll get this rowing battle done and then clean sweep next time. All right, there you go. But until next time, Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share if you're new to the channel like we saw. Please do consider subscribing. Until then, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye. <laughs>